NASA postpones flying saucer parachute test. High waves forced NASA to postpone until Thursday the first test of the largest parachute ever deployed during a flying saucer launch that will try out new technologies for landing on Mars. If conditions improve, the test flight of the flying saucer, known as the Low Density Supersonic Decelerator, will be broadcast live on NASA's website beginning at 1.30 p.m. 17.30 GMT on Thursday. The ocean wave height continues to be an issue for the crew that would recover the vehicle and its data after splashdown, NASA said after the postponement of Wednesday's planned attempt. A bid on Tuesday was also cancelled because of ocean conditions. The launch window for the test extends until June 12. Since the atmosphere on Mars is so thin, any parachute that helps a heavy, fast-moving spacecraft touch down needs to be extra strong. The US Space Agency figured out how to do this decades ago, beginning with the Viking mission that put two landers on Mars in 1976. But with the goal of sending humans to Mars in the 2030s, the agency is now testing a more advanced, new generation of parachute technology, known as the supersonic ring sail parachute, that could allow even heavier spacecraft, the kind that may have humans and months of food and supplies on board, to land softly. We want to see if the chute can successfully deploy and decelerate the test vehicle while it is in supersonic flight, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory said in a statement. The test vehicle weighs 6,808 pounds, 3,088 kilograms or about twice the weight of the kind of robotic rover spacecraft NASA is currently capable of landing safely on Mars. The parachute, described by NASA's JPL as, the largest parachute ever deployed, is 100 feet, 30 meters, in diameter. The goal is for the chute to slow the entry vehicle from Mark II to subsonic speeds, NASA said. View gallery is NASA artist and number 39, S impression shows the low density and NBSP, and HELIP, this NASA artist's impression shows the low density supersonic decelerator which will test Landy. The test will involve sending the saucer and in a tube-shaped decelerator and parachute to an altitude of 120,000 feet 37 kilometers, over the Pacific Ocean with the help of a giant balloon. The balloon will release the spacecraft and rockets will lift the vehicle even higher, to 180,000 feet reaching supersonic speeds. Traveling at three times the speed of sound, the saucer's decelerator will inflate, slowing the vehicle, and then a parachute will deploy at 2.35 times the speed of sound to carry it to the ocean's surface. NASA said. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.